Hey hi hello namaste strastuvi che this is chetan and welcome to cr and designers and in this tutorial we are going to create a mechanical design if you are new on this youtube channel then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can follow us on instagram where we upload the regular post related to the cg art and you can watch our previous tutorials related to blender and now let's get started to make a design we need to add a circle so shift a and then add a circle we will go with the 24 words after that you need to go to the edit mode and go to the vertex mode select all words and then e to extrude them and scale them along the x and y axis then rotate it into the 15 degree or something like that it's totally depend on you you can rotate it in, in any direction like anti clockwise or clockwise then use the move tool and move it down along the z axis like this and then you need to select everything and deselect the top and bottom edge so you will get that only the those angular edge Okay, then add a bevel, so control B and then add a bevel with one segment. And now you need to select everything one more time and you need to subdivide it. So just subdivide it and dissolve the center edge loop. So control X to dissolve it. Now you need to select the angular edge and shift G and then face angle. So you can select the similar edges and then scale it down along the X and Y axis. So you can see we got that decent looking pattern. And now we need to add the loop cuts like this. So add the loop cuts like this and then rotate it into the small angle, small degree. So we will get more decent looking smoother curve at there. So that's why you need to add the loop cuts and you need to rotate them into the opposite direction. So like this and just need to create a little bit of smoother curve design at there. Then So now you can see we are get, we have got this decent looking design and then E to extrude this edge and one more time E to extrude this edge and same thing you need to do to the bottom side so E to extrude this edge loop and one more time E to extrude this. Okay now we can use the loop tool so select these edge loops and then right click and then edge uh, loop tool and then circle and now you need to adjust the size of that circle so just adjust the size at there and we will create a little bit of design at there so that's why we will use a simple extrude and insert operation something like that so e to extrude it and then scale it down along the x and y axis and then one more time select this uh, top edge and then e to extrude it and take it a little bit down to create that dapper kind of design and you can adjust the scale at there then one more time e to extrude it and then scale it down along the x and y axis and then one more time extrude and then scale it down same thing we need to do to the bottom side just e to extrude it and then scale it down and then match these circles top and bottom edge loops and then select both edge loops and then right click and then bridge edge loop so we can connect them and then select these faces press i for the insert operation and add one more loop at there so we will get a decent looking design so select these faces press i for the insert operation and here also you need to add the loop cut at the bottom side and now you can see we got a decent model there add a subdivision surface modifier and then increase its count up to two and just we need to add a few more loop cuts out there so shade smooth it and now you need to add the necessary loop cuts so we will get much more decent design so so add loop cuts like this add a loop cut at the bottom and that's it and turn on your subdivision surface modifier and you can see we have created this decent looking mechanical design with the within a few minutes so you can see the wireframe and in this way we can get any kind of design so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so in the next video take care